from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Maddie Kirker. It is great to see you on this beautiful start to our Thursday. Look at this sunrise happening live here on top of our tower cam in downtown Norfolk. Here's some things we need to keep in mind though. First things first today is perfect. Feeling like spring with highs in the 70s. So right now is the time to make some plans at any point in the day today to get outside. After that, we've got some big changes. The wind really ramping up today out ahead of our next weather maker. This will give us the chance of rain, even the possibility of thunderstorms for primarily tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, the rain threat is done. Then as we head towards the weekend, we're looking at lots of sunshine with near normal near normal temps in the 50s. Let's take a look live at the satellite and radar picture. This is the system that will be moving into our area tomorrow morning. It is spawning some severe thunderstorm warnings. This one actually into Arkansas, just off to the north and west of Little Rock. This exact system moving in our direction as we go through the day today. And unfortunately for our friends who live in Memphis, down in Tupelo, Mississippi, uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. They are under a level three out of five threat for seeing some tornadoes today. As you can see, this goes all the way out through western portions of our area, at least for the state of Virginia and North Carolina. Uh, but as far as the severe weather threat here locally, I think with the mountains, the time of the day and the center of the storm moving away from us, we really don't have a threat of seeing severe storms like what they have for the deep south. That doesn't mean that we won't have a strong storm or two. Taking a look at our forecast model keeps us dry through the day today. More clouds and sunshine, but again, please get out and enjoy the 70s. As we go through overnight tonight, we will have some rain chances increasing, especially early tomorrow morning. Here's the first round. I think it rolls through about 4 a.m. tomorrow, especially for the south side. And the main chance of seeing some thunderstorms, I think is going to be right along the actual cold front. Weather models want to paint it in around 8 a.m. for the eastern shore down to the south side of Hampton Roads. This could lead to some strong wind gusts. Uh, but again, storm system crosses us real quickly. You can see 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon by lunchtime. The rain is long gone as some drier weather begins to move in. Here's a look at our severe weather threat Friday. Again, we're not officially under any threat from the Storm Prediction Center. However, given the fact we've got a cold front moving through and the winds aloft being pretty strong, I still think we could have a dam damaging wind gusts or so uh, across the region with any of the stronger storms. And of course, we have to keep that threat for heavy rain on the higher end as well. Plenty of moisture thanks to the Gulf of Mexico with this one. All right, taking a look at your first warning seven day forecast. Once the rain's out, here Friday again right around lunchtime smooth sailing it does get cooler but still beautiful wall to wall sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday Saturday will be a little bit breezy Sunday looking nice with a high of 52.